In 10 years, I'll be a celebrity. This city say the Clippers are their favorite. Is historical significance to stop us from winning a ring. I know it's no secret. Tossing off retrograde nonsense. Fudge under the weight of that man. Ticket to the ball. Wait, because there's a lot of road before the change your result. Can't you put her somewhere else? Could be exclusive. No, I don't know. They're just season tickets. Well, I like yours too. Thanks. I've been watching. Stupid. Who cares about going in the pre part of your team? Jesus Christ. Be seen with me. Does that hurt? Out of you near a food truck. Me and this can't mean nothing. It's hell. Studiano from Special Friends. Running the court in that green. Towards the conclusion of this talk, though, she does understand her confusion. In the meantime, Doc investigates the matter between Blake and Chris by talking to the other team members. After giving him each some guidance, he decides to name Chris the captain. He makes several attempts to get each of them to focus. Doc could be taking on more than he can handle, especially since it appears like the squad has been affected by Donald's negativity and has to focus on winning. Doc is aware that Donald spreads like a disease and infects everything, much like the team's norovirus. Doc has determined that, in spite of having a poisonous boss, they must ignore everything and live a boring existence in order to concentrate. The attention is on what's going on courtside as the team achieves success on the court. V keeps twirling her web of deceit, entangling Donald in it, and turning up on her birthday wearing a green outfit. Just as the squad was beginning to gel, Donald barges into the locker room with the season ticket holders. Although it seems regular, you can tell that this totally detracts from the player's atmosphere. Fortunately, Doc arrives just on schedule to put an end to everything before things go out of control. After becoming agitated, Shelly finally loses it at a clothes store when she sees that V has spent all of Donald's money. V even gives her a nasty whisper that she will be the new Mrs. Sterling, and Donald doesn't even try to defend his wife. Shelly storms away, but her friends are there to support her, listen to her complain, and give her some sage advice. Her self-esteem is much enhanced by this, and she vows to sue V with renewed vigor. The latter twists around. However, given that we are aware of her grudges toward Donald, this may be a very bad decision. 